Yosin. Yosin. What's up, guys? And today we're back with another one of our game reviews, and we got Captive. It's one of. It's actually a book. We never played a game ba really based did. off a book. It's part of Van Ryder Games and uh, their graphic novel adventure series. Huh? Yeah, I, I took me off guard. I've never experienced anything like this, and I thought it was super cool. It, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It definitely gave off our little survival horror yes. genre that we love, Resident mm -hmm. Evil vibes, mm -hmm. everything all in one. You know? Yeah, no, I agree. I did. I had no idea what to expect from this. Not from like the experience all the way to the storyline, and both of them hit. Right on the net. I think this is good. Yep. I think this is amazing. And we were so happy that you sent us a copy. It was a good time. All right. So let's break it down in our criteria. We got five pillars. You yes, know sir. what they are? Uh, mechanics, replayability, fun. Learning curve. Learning curve. Quality. Quality. Boom. All right. All right. Learning, Learning curve. curve. You know, this game was actually incredibly easy. Right? Yeah, no, there was literally little to no startup. You you open up the first page in the book. Yep. And first page is yeah. instructions. It's in like, hey, stat you got three stats, you got health, you got inventory, watch for hidden things, mm -hmm. and follow the numbers. Yeah, you know? and, and there was there's tons of hidden things and other things to look for, so they gave you tons of tons of replay value and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah absolutely. which we'll talk about shortly yeah, here. You yeah. know? Um, but like we said, it's incredibly easy. You just... Open the book, you yeah. go to page one, it says go to 25, go to 40, you go yeah. there, and you just follow. And you just get big yeah. jumps on page 48, it's going to tell you to go to page 200, and then in page 200, it's going to tell you to go to page 11. Yep. It's, uh, it, and it works perfectly in, a, in an awesome mix to where if you were to open the book and just look at it, you can't find the end. Yep. You don't. So you, there's yeah, no so you kind actual of order. Everything's all yeah. mixed up. Yeah, you can't, You you. there's no correlation, so you have no idea. So I think that's awesome. Yeah. You can't cheat. You can't. you can't skip to the end. So I think that's awesome. So learning curve, what do we right. think? Uh, uh, I think it's a good old fat 8.5. 8.5. 8.5, I think it's a real strong score, and that's be because literally little to no instructions. You could pick this thing up. You could take it on the plane. You can, you can, what else can you do with it, man? You could take this thing wherever, you know, and then you could, no problem. It, all you need is what? It's a little uh, erasable pencil, so you can just put your stats in. You get a pencil, yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, it's super cool. Super dope. So yeah, 8.5. Let's get on, man. On to the next one. Mechanics. Mechanics, yeah. Like we were talking about, we kind of went over a lot of it in the learning curve. Like we said, this game's really easy. Um, yeah, you got your three stats. Yeah, like dexterity, will, and strength. strength. Yes. Yep. You got your three stats. You can you get five points, and then you get an extra five points. You can split between them because mm -hmm. randomly yeah, in the stat book, it'd be like five, and then you get five to, to yep. divvy amongst them. Yep. So you're gonna have two sevens and a six normally yep, or something like yeah, that or something and, um, like that you, however you want to mix them up because randomly in the book you'd be like if you have eight strength go here if you don't go here mm -hmm. and usually something bad happens either way but the less bad sometimes yeah, happens you know absolutely. it's all mixed up like you would think that you would want to have two sevens and a six like you know for the stats but sometimes you might need an eight on one page and that can throw off your yep. entire character and the worst so, part is like you might need that eight like mm -hmm. there's one part it's like you need a butcher's knife if you have the butcher's oh. knife and eight strength go here and you go here and you get stabbed yep <laughs> so, like, so it's just a one wrong turn and having the wrong stats and hitting the wrong page well Yep, there's your games. Yeah, there goes yeah. your games. Yep, there's also the uh, the inventory. The inventory system, how yep. you can only have three items. I think there was, there was well over There's three. well there's over, six, and you seven, have to drop one items. swap, yeah, so. but you, you don't know when. Because mm -hmm. you medicine, might need the flashlight later, but, mm -hmm. like, hey, you want... You want your first aid, but then you might need the billiard ball Absolutely. to throw out the guy. And I'd like, say that's the what thing. What if you need you a lighter? That, you're yeah, you're you out of luck like or something. Key you item, and then you get knocked down to low life, and then you find a health item, and you have to take it. So you don't have a choice. So it makes yep. you drop a key item to fix yourself. So I think that's really cool as well. It, may, it forces you to pick. So. Which also kind of leads to the next part. You need to manage your health, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like, you can't really change your stats throughout the game, but you can mm -hmm. change your health value. You might get hit. It's you might hard. get stabbed. You can, yeah. You might lose, like, five health, but then if you find a first aid, that, there you go. You're absolutely. back to normal. Yeah, no, and I remember we found some, uh, I think it was painkillers, and then we found, like, a big old first aid kit. Like, there's tons of different options, too, but yep. they're all not, if you just go right through the book, 
you are missing out on everything. You know, you just go right to the book, you're missing out on everything. You've got to make sure that you're paying attention or you'll never find any of those heels. You'll never find any of those items. Yep. So, I think that's also... Then awesome. there's also uh, the time. The time factor, mm-hmm. the hourglass. Mm-hmm. Yes, no, I, you can go into that. I love As that. As you uh, hit certain pages, an hourglass shows up and then adds one value to your time uh, slots and you can only have certain amount of time as you like progress like through the Mm -hmm. main point so like you may need to have four and you may have five and it's like you're gonna get the worst outcome so you you it adds a lot of factors into the game that it's like you got to like speed through the game but you also have to be effective and you don't know and it says that it says you have to find a perfect medium between I forget what the words they use, but like basically you have to find the right balance of speed without being greedy. Because if you do both, Efficacy yeah, or because something. and you also you have all the free will Efficiency. in the world in this game. Like let's say you walk through a hallway and you got hit with an hourglass and you went out the other door, you can go right back if you want. Nothing's stopping you. But if you, you do go back, you get another hourglass. So what the predicament that me and you ran into we is that looping around yeah, we would we, we would loop hallways. around looking for all this secret stuff. We'd hit way you too many hourglasses. Numbers. And then by the time the end of the story mode, what did we have? 14 hourglasses? We were we were trying to find way every item, time. and yet we took way too long. But yeah, that's what it's about, man. We, we had one where we were super strong. Experimenting. Yeah, one where we didn't find any items. One where we found damn near all of them. It was... Got to the main boss too quick. Blew yep, head off. Yep, yeah. We, man, we had... We had yeah, we can't, I don't even want to say one of them. I don't want to bring, bring any spoilers. But yeah, no, you have a big goal in this. And then if you mess well, it, it up... it's to it, save for your daughter. It says yeah. it right on the okay, back. Okay, Only okay. you can save her. Okay, all right. You want to know what... All right, yeah. You can tell them that at least. But I just felt like that it's so good. Because there's tons of different endings. And, man, a lot of variety, you know? Super awesome, yeah. And the art's great, too. Yeah, art is great. I would say so. Um, so mechanics, what do we say? Mechanics, uh, I'll give it a fat old seven. Because seven. there's not a shit ton of mechanics... But they're very clear, very easy, straight to the point, boom. And I like All right. that. All right. Next one. Fun. Fun. Uh, there's a lot of interesting outcomes and crazy endings for one that yeah. we did not see coming. A and lot we've of seen variety. Quite a few of them. Yep. Yeah. You never know what's really going to be on the next page. Yeah, you don't know it if you're going to die a, or someone else is going to die. It or could if you're be a be... cat. It could be some nice dogs or it could be like a, really <laughs> some crazy ghost that's going to stab you with a butcher's knife. You yeah, don't know. Yeah, some wicked shit. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, there's tons of unexpected stuff all on on Let every few throw. pages. Yeah, every few pages. Um, I really like the survival horror aspect of it yeah. as well. Like, like we mentioned before... That's our job. It hits right up our alley. Yeah, so this really, this was a great send for us. We, you sent it to the right crowd, and we enjoyed it. We thoroughly yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, and to add on to that, um, the story itself gives off like this survival horror vibes because you're, you're this guy looks like Leon, kind of, yeah, Evil, and you gotta save his uh, save his daughter. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of like you just think it's like Ashley. You're Resident going to the mansion, <laughs> exactly, man. No, creepy yeah, dudes no, no, there, yeah. some like uh, some creepy magic stuffs going on. Mm-hmm. You, you never know. And also the the to add on, you never know. There's a lot of hidden stuff within the pages. Yes, yes. And, like we were saying, there's there's hidden numbers. And when you find them, they'll lead to a specific page, specific uh, picture, mm-hmm. and um, you really never, you never know what's going to be there. Yeah, every time we've played, we've found, we've literally, I even made a joke like, hey, I'll go get a, a magnifying glass and make sure I see all the numbers, and we still don't find all the numbers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> every time you go through the book, you keep finding another number that you They're didn't, oh, you in good keep, places. They're like yeah. sideways on the bathtub or something like that. Yeah, or like the image is only half the page and it's on the side of the bathtub, so it's yep. like you really gotta look at it. But no, it's good. It's not like you need a magnifying glass. It's just a joke. They don't make it that hard, but they're not obvious at all. Yeah, by they make means. you work for it. Yeah, they do make you work for it. But uh, what do you say? What would you give for the score then, man? 7.5. 7.5? That's a good, well-rounded yep. fun. I agree. 7.5. On to the next one. All right, on to the next one. Replayability. Replayability. Um, like we were saying, this game has a ton of different outcomes, a lot of variety depending on your decisions, what you do. If you pick this up, or mm-hmm. if you have this strength, or if, like, you know, you take this route, you die early, you take this route, you don't fight this monster, a ton of different outcomes can happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, like, you would think in your survival instinct that maybe you just want to avoid everybody. That's not the case. On yeah. top of the fact of you think you want survival items, sometimes you don't need the med kit and the flashlight. Sometimes you need a billiards ball or yeah. some uh, something else. You know, Every item so keep has your mind a open purpose. when you're playing this game. Yes. And you need it here, but you might have went 
you might have needed it on the right route and you went left exactly, or anywhere exactly. in between. Like you did everything the way you were supposed to do it and you had picked one wrong door which sent you on a tangent in the wrong direction which left you and with then a, a snake totally, biting you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then a snake's biting you. So I get it. so it it I, I think it's I think the replayability yeah. is good. I think it's really good. Huge. Yeah. You can absolutely. literally play this probably, you know, a ton of times and you're still gonna end up the same way. You may and think you know the right way, but you go through a wrong door because you forgot a number and like we said, you're getting eaten by a snake. Exactly. And then I would say that you're gonna keep playing this until you save your daughter, which will be ten plus plays. Yep. It's kinda I'm gives like, off that Dark Souls vibe. You wanna keep going and you, you wanna know? beat it. But mm-hmm. you can't. Yeah, you can't. You're, you're trying so hard, and you keep picking all the right things. And, and, and then you and took every, too long. Every or... error that you did this game, you fixed it this game. But then, like you said, we didn't get any items, so we took too long looking for items. And then we thought we were locked and loaded. And then the yep. timer is what killed us. So yeah. be frugal. Don't get greedy. And I don't know. I don't know what else to give them at the end. <laughs> but man. It's a tough one. It's yeah. a tough one. It's good. And but, all um, that variety makes it pretty fun, you know, because there's so many different outcomes. Absolutely. And it is a one... It's supposed to be, obviously, a one-person game. One person holds a book. But we were sitting here with me, John, and Brandon all Each behind the book. like, a different yeah. decision. Yeah. Like, or we read the decision. options out, out loud, yes, and made a community character. And don't get me wrong, we got our ass busted pretty early. Yeah, it might have honestly <laughs> been better to go by yourself. Yeah, because it, cause we were, like, making jokes out of it, making them do the things that we thought would be funny or this, would this cause door things. looks fine. There's exactly. nothing there. <laughs> there was let's like, there's blood it. outside this skull door. You want to know what? It could be let's anything. Yeah, let's check it out. No, we gotta, yeah. We gotta do it for the Yosin. Yeah, no, for the, we don't. For the Yosin. Yeah, and then our game ended instantly after that. That's too funny. But um, no. Yeah, another thing to add on, this game is literally a book. So, you're on an airplane, you're on a long car ride, take mm-hmm. a book with you, and that's a couple hours of fun right there. It's yeah. really easy to pick up and set down. Yeah, and I would say that each, what would you say, 15 minutes? 15 minutes for a playthrough or something like that. Maybe if you, it depends how, maybe they're going to get way farther than us. Yeah, it depends and on And if your you decisions. get way farther than us and you're way better than us, then you're probably going to have a longer yeah. 20, 25 minute game. But it then if you're quick. worse than us, you might count on a seven minute game. Yeah, die so, in the first room. Yeah, that's what we did. We had a two and a half minute game once. So that just, that's just how that, bro, you know, that's how the dice goes. That's how the yep. cookie crumbles. No, but uh, what would you give it for a score then, man? Replayability, seven five. Seven five. No, 7. absolutely. 5. I'd agree. I'd agree because the replayability is so good until you save her, and then I think that's what would be my ending point. But until yeah. then, you're gonna be going hard. You're gonna be going hard for it. So I agree. Quality. So diving right in, you know, this book is it's just a book, but like itself, the cover is really fucking nice. Yeah, it's no. like got some. It's hard. It's a hardcover book, so absolutely. it's gonna last a while. But like the actual. Hardcover itself is like soft. I don't know what type of material it's made of, but it feels really nice to touch. I agree. And I will even admit to when I was walking this in my house, I drop dropped it. it. I dropped it and there's a little dink, just the tiniest little dink, but that's because I dropped it on concrete from seven feet in the air. It's still and a book at the end of the it, day. No, but it's still like the corner. I dropped it right on the corner like this and it's still got a sharp corner. It still looks very clean. This thing, you know, I think if I poured something on the table... Could you can wipe, wipe it off. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, agreed. So I like that. I need that type of shit. Mm-hmm. So pages itself in the book are actually pretty sturdy too. Like I don't think I can rip them accidentally. Like a lot of different books, you mm-hmm. know. Like if you're actually reading a book, how many times have you ripped the page? Yeah, right. Any of those super thin, thin ass pages. Yeah. Yep. Um, like he was saying earlier, the art's really nice. It uh, it's a survival horror book, and like the the art itself gives off this dark cartoonish vibe you do feel yeah. like you're there but it's still very creepy it's so yeah it's creepy and it's like it's not like big juicy colors it's like penciled in creepy art that like it gives yeah. you that good feel that for the yep. story it really does fit it um and like we also mentioned earlier the hidden numbers was a big takeaway for us um oh that raises the quality pre- yeah, it was pretty cool it, it kind of added some spice to it yeah if you're gonna if like you buy this game and you just play it then you do exactly what we did like anybody would do their first time is you're not gonna look for those small numbers really you're just gonna go play through and then when you find out about them then you're gonna go oh we missed this one in the beginning and then it's gonna open up another room that had that you've never even seen before that also has hidden numbers in it and then it's going to take you somewhere else that you know you know and then, then you, you just found the big guy's y- journal or yep you unlocked else. the whole rest of the game it's an amazing feeling it's awesome it's dope uh, well overall quality what do you think uh i give it a fat old eight because i think this is super good i mean i don't know what else you could do to make a book 
more strong. I was really blown like, away just as well. It feels yeah, really like, nice. I'm literally thinking, trying to critique the shit out of it, and I think it's about it's, that's as tough as a book is gonna get. The only thing you can do is laminate every individual page, and that's stupid. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. This is about the strongest good game I think that you could take that damn near anywhere. Read that on the beach, throw it right in the sand, and it wouldn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? That type yep. of stuff. So yeah, yeah, fat old eight man. So, putting everything together. Oh, yeah, man. After everything uh, got all put together, all the all the gears started turning. Put the ingredients together, stirred the after pot. The, after everybody was served dinner. Served dinner, what? Then the score came <laughs> out as a 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said stir the pot, and I can only think of food, well, like, bro. serve dinner. Who do yeah. I serve dinner? Too. That was the only thing I could think of at the time. That's too funny. But no, as an overall, after all five of our scores, the medium, we give it a fat old 7.7. 7. And 7. that is a good, strong It's one of our score. hires. Yeah, no, it's definitely one of our hires. And with this being the least amount of stuff, there's no box, there's no yep. items, there's no nothing. I think it just hit us exactly what we needed. Mm-hmm. Like, this is our type of game. Right, and if this same exact format of game could have showed up, and it could have had a different story, and it wouldn't have done it for us, but this one did it for us, and it just so happened that my man sent us one that we'd be interested in and yep. it worked out first try honestly so, so yeah we want to uh thank van Ryder games you know like we said we loved it it was a lot of fun absolutely gladly take any other ones you want to send our way mm-hmm. and uh i agree peek and uh tell yeah, me what yeah, you think. We'd be great to, happy to work with you again i hope you guys enjoyed the review i hope you guys got whatever you're looking for out of it and uh yeah catch you in the next one yosin out